They are viewer questions that have flooded our trust index inbox all about the monkeypox vaccine. Who needs it? Is it the same as the smallpox vaccine? And will the old vaccine still work? Courtney Friedman tapped our local experts to get those questions answered for you. The vaccine currently being used against monkeypox is a smallpox vaccine. It's a newer vaccine that's being used now. It is related, it's considered the third generation smallpox vaccine, but it is also active against monkeypox. Dr. Jason Bowling is an infectious disease expert for UT Health San Antonio and University Health and says this vaccine actually received FDA approval in 2019. So it is different than the older vaccines people received decades ago. They stopped using that in 1972. And then in between, there was a second vaccine for smallpox that people might also be thinking about that really was just used for people that work with the vaccine in labs. The current version was also mainly made for people who work in labs, but also in preparation should smallpox ever return. So the question is, if you got the older smallpox vaccines, are you protected against monkeypox? That's a great question. And the, the, the short answer is we don't know which is not a real satisfying answer. Bowling said for the older vaccine, boosters are recommended after about 10 years. And so that means if we stop vaccinating people in 1972, really a lot of people would be due for that. That being said, there may still be some re residual protection. But it's hard to tell how much protection. That's why we're labeling it be careful on our case at trust index. But if you're eligible, meaning you've come in contact with monkeypox, Bowling has a definitive suggestion. So if you're exposed to a monkeypox case, even if you had that prior smallpox vaccine sometime in the past, you would still be benefit from getting the new vaccine. Yes. Bear County originally started with about 1000 monkeypox vaccines, and we are already on the wait list to receive more. If you want to know if you're eligible and where you can get the vaccine, head to Metro Health's website. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. And if you want to submit a question, we'd love to hear from you. See more trust index stories. You can do that too. Just scan the QR code on your screen or go to KSAT.com slash trust index.